all right so hi guys uh, welcome back to my video um today i've got a package so i'm very excited to know uh, what's inside well obviously it's books because i ordered books um at the beginning of this month i ordered book and uh, finally arrived here for almost one month on the way and uh, uh, it's quite interesting here because it's written no import of pork product or meat product here yeah but my package is safe because it's book it's not meat it's not food right so now i'm going to open the box and i'm going to record the the whole process so you guys also can also see what's inside the box two thousand years later right so first thing first i'm gonna be careful because i'm using this extra sharp cutting tool and uh, i want to keep this box so i'm going to be gentle let's see it's got tips all over here all right here's the moment of truth oh i've got five books here i've got five books let's play the drum ding 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 here are the books mandarin informal that's the the indonesian uh chinese book and then here's casual Indonesian, that's the English Indonesian book. Oh, that's again my pictures there. And then Chinese Indonesian. Nice. Casual Mandarin, the English Mandarin book. And last but not least, the very important one. Casual Moki, and this is my invention. This is a universal Hokkien language that I invented, which is cool. So here are the five of the books that I have written um, and translated by my collaborators from many countries. Yeah, these are just uh, some of the versions in total right now i think i have 60 titles yeah 60 titles yeah here uh, what you see is um five titles and that equals to five books it's available in two version the electronic version and the printed version like what you see right now so I'm going to show you the uh, the content, a bit of the content of the book. Two thousand years later. So first, uh, let's start with the Indonesian Mandarin book. It's quite thick um, because apparently um, I put the English and the the Chinese characters and then the pin in and the last one is the pin in with with numbers as the tone markers and so for one phrase there are four lines and that's why i need a lot of space to put all of the phrases and then the, uh, there's a bit of the the grammar a bit of the grammar like the subject uh, and then word order yeah 
Probably it will be easier if I just show you the English Mandarin. They are basically the same, just different language. The content are basically the same, in the same order. Yeah. So here's the sentence structure. And then um, the word order is here, tenses. And then uh, there's also the alphabets. Yeah. And here I introduce the Zhuyin, which is used in Taiwan. Zhuyin and the Pinyin, the Latin letters. And I've got also numbers and days, all of the basic stuff, so months. Yeah, everything's in this book. And now the Indonesian, English, Indonesian, Chinese, Indonesian, they, all, they also have the same um, content, but again, different languages. Yeah, so here, for example, you can see the phrases in English and Indonesian. And again, a bit of the, the grammar, like here, it is the adjective. Yeah. And the numbers, and so on, and and here because uh, this this book was uh, these books were made quite a long time ago, like in two thousand nineteen. Yeah, in two thousand nineteen. Well, actually, this is my first book. This is the the first book that I finished. The first title out of sixty titles that I have right now. This is the first one, and then here you can see this. Uh, uh, this is Xiaowa, a very talented Taiwanese polyglot. Yes, she, she helped me a lot in uh, translating this book into Mandarin. And here is Mokian, my invention of uh, Hokkien language, a universal Hokkien language, and um. The reason behind this is because there is no standardized Hokkien. So, um, because I'm a conlanger, so uh, why not make a language based on Hokkien, which is my native language? And here you can see that I use Cyrillic as the tone marker because Hokkien is also a regional language uh, originated from China, so it has tones. There is Cyrillic as the tone marker, and I use Latin letters uh, for the rest. Yeah, this idea actually comes from um, some existing uh, languages that I've encountered. Yeah, uh, so basically it has the uh, the majority of uh, Mokian, majority of Mokian words come from Medan Hokkien. And then I replace the non Medan Hokkien word with Taiwanese Hokkien. So basically, Mokkien is just a mix of Medan Hokkien and Taiwanese Hokkien. I thought it would be uh, much easier to make a language out of a, a language that I, I already know because I, I don't need to spend so much time doing the research because uh, everything is in is in my mind right I just can write it down and twist it a bit to make it more perfect yeah. so I've got all of the names uh, like for for the body parts right and uh, in Medan Hokkien we we probably need to adopt some words from other languages uh, because it doesn't exist in Medan Hokkien, but for Mokkien, I I uh, just took it from Taiwanese Hokkien. Yeah. So that's it. These are the five books that I have right now with me that arrived today. And I'm very excited to receive these books. And... Uh, I'm going to order more books yeah, because my plan is to donate these books to um, libraries or any language centers or basically anybody that 
need it. Okay, so I guess this is uh, the end of this video. Um, okay, wait, let me see. I've got this uh, shipment summary, summary here. This shipment summary. Oh, yeah, so the website I use is Lulu, lulu.com. Yeah, lulu.com is a self publishing website. After researching um, and reading about several similar websites, I finally um, decided to use Lulu because I, I thought that it, it, it might be the easiest one. And also, I spent so much time uh, doing the research, so I just don't want to uh, delay anymore and uh, pick one that is that looks suitable and uh, so far I think Lulu is the, the is quite is quite suitable for uh, what I need in my book publishing um, okay so this is really the end of this video if you have any question you can uh, drop me a message comments you can reach me in my personal website or you can just google my name Teddy Nee alright see you Bye, have a good evening from Taiwan.